So, thinking about getting a leopard gecko, but don't know how to take care of one? Hi, my name is Lauren. Here are a few things you might need to know before you do get a leopard gecko. Most leopard geckos are friendly and are very suitable for children. So, for this video, the time for each topic is going to be in the description below. Feel free to jump to the one that you're more interested in. Number one, handling. Leopard geckos are fairly easy to handle. Just be gentle and make no sudden moves. It is possible for leopard geckos to drop their tail, but it rarely happens. When leopard geckos do drop their tails, the second one that grows back won't look the same. Another cool thing about leopard geckos is that you can see straight through their heads. Time for some of Cookie's weird moments. This is how Cookie sleeps. Number three, eating. In the beginning, he wasn't very good at catching the crickets because they were so small and they would hide in random places where Cookie couldn't reach them. So in this case, you can consider using mealworms instead of crickets, because mealworms are much easier to catch. To help him eat, we use tongs to hold the crickets in place for him. We mainly use crickets to feed our leopard gecko because in our cricket breeding video, we ended up with way too many. The most common foods for leopard geckos are crickets, dubia roaches, and mealworms. So, owning a leopard gecko means having to feed them live insects almost every day. In other terms, if you want to become a reptile owner, you cannot be too easily nauseated. Make sure your leopard gecko has enough water to drink. It is always a good idea to keep calcium powder nearby. Calcium is an essential mineral for many metabolic processes. I put Cookie's calcium powder in a bottle cap and put it in a corner in his enclosure so he can go by and lick it whenever he wants. Enjoy some more footage of Cookie eating.
Number four is enclosure, bedding, and temperatures. So this is Cookie's first night in our house, and as you can see, we made the choice of going with sand. That was a very bad idea. Sand may look nice, but it could cause impaction in your leopard gecko and end up killing it. Because leopard geckos like to lick everything. And I do mean everything. So your safest bet is to buy a piece of cloth from Walmart or Hobby Lobby or any kind of store that sells fabrics for as cheap as you can find them and cut it to the shape of the bottom of the tank and put it as your bedding. It's the safest way to ensure your leopard gecko will not be impacted from eating or licking anything. You will need at least two hides, one on the hot side, one on the cool side. The perfect temperatures for a leopard gecko range from 75 to 80 Fahrenheit on the cool side and 80 to 85 Fahrenheit on the warm side. I got this adjustable heat pad online and I put it under the right side of his tank. Number five is going to be about poop. If you're eating, stop right now. The cool thing about leopard geckos is that they always poop in the same corner but they also poop almost every day. As you can see, Cookie's pooping corner is very dirty, even though we clean it every single day. But later we found a way to keep the tank clean for longer. We started using pieces of tissue paper and placed them in the corner where he would poop. That way we would only have to replace the piece of tissue once he was done.
Last but not least, six is about shedding. If you see your leopard gecko's colors are beginning to fade, that means he's growing and is about to shed. Here's another cool thing known about leopard geckos. They eat their own sheds. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. And thanks for watching.